So recently I had a question about sugar alcohols that I wanted to create this very short video. So the question is, should you subtract sugar alcohol sweeteners as your net carbs? Now, normally you would take the total carbs on the back of the label and you minus the fiber, but you also minus the sugar alcohols. Why? Because in theory, this doesn't necessarily get absorbed in the small intestine or raise the blood sugars. So, so the thought is because they're not acting just like sugar, we can deduct those to get our net carbs. So the net carbs are what you're operating on on your calculations because you wanna keep your carbs between 20, 50 grams per day, okay? Well, I disagree out of all the sugar alcohols, only one that is zero on the glycemic index and that's erythritol. So yes, if you have erythritol as your sweetener, definitely deduct it from the total carbs to get your net carbs. However, xylitol, maltitol, sorbitol, these do produce uh, some reaction on the glycemic index. It's not incredibly high and it's a lot less than actual table sugar and definitely glucose, but it's not zero. So for that reason, I would not recommend deducting these in your calculations, only erythritol. So that way you're being a little conservative and you're probably having more accurate numbers down here. Now, if you're consuming stevia or monk fruit, you don't have to worry about these. These are such a small amount of calories and you do not have to factor these into this equation at all because they, they don't spike insulin. All right, guys, there you have it. That's my long-winded answer to a short question. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.